Hello everyone, my name is Supriya Matthew um, and today I'll be talking about the Air Analysis Project um, which is a citizen science project funded by the Department of Business in 2021. We are currently in the preparatory stages of the project so I will only provide an overview of the project in this, pres in this presentation. The Air Analysis Project it is a partnership between Menzies, University of New South Wales, Tenangera Council, Thermal High Performance Consultancy, University of Tasmania, the Department of Health, Alice Springs Town Council, NTEPA, Arid Land Environment Centre and the ARC Sensor Group. The broad aim of the project is to collect air quality and temperature data by deploying fixed weather and air quality sensors in Alice Springs um, and also by requesting citizen scientists to collect data through wearable center, sensors. Um, I would like to give a brief overview of the location Alice Springs. Alice Springs is a remote central Australian service town with a population of just about 23,000 people. It has a very heterogeneous population. Close to one-fifth of the population are Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander people and around 36% of the population are born in countries other than Australia. Alice Springs has an arid climate. Um, the summer periods are quite hot in Alice Springs with more than 50 days with temperature greater than 40 degrees centigrade. Surface temperatures can rise up to 68 degrees centigrade in the town centre. There is only one weather station in Alice Springs and that is located 10 km away from the town centre. The town will face warmer conditions in the future as days with temperature greater than 40 degrees centigrade are projected to double by 2030. In terms of air quality, there is currently no ground-based air quality monitoring in Alice Springs. While there are no big industries in Alice Springs, air quality is still affected by desert dust, campfires, bushfires and pollen. In this project, we will be collecting data in a number of ways. Firstly, data will be collected through fixed weather and air quality sensors. And this data will feed into the Air Rater app, which will allow uh, residents to actually link exposure data, temperature and air quality exposure data to their health related symptoms. In the next stage, we will involve community members as citizen scientists and they will wear Fitbits equipped with low cost temperature sensors and be part of the data collection process. A small sample of community volunteers will be involved in swallowing biocapsules, which will help to monitor the core body temperature. We understand that in some cases, people will not prefer to wear any sensors or swallow a biocapsule or even use the aerator app, but would still be interested in contributing their expert observations on weather and air quality, its impacts, and also provide some recommendations on how to reduce the risk. So for this part, we will be involving these community members through interviews and focus group discussions. Another main component of this project is um, its collaboration with the school's weather air quality project led by the team at UNSW. We will be using the resources already developed by the SWAG team, but at the same time creating an additional lesson plan for the students so that they can compare weather data in Sydney and Alice Springs and also compare air quality data in Sydney and Alice Springs. In terms of outcomes, we will be making sure that better resolution temperature data will be publicly available for community residents. Air quality data collected will also be validated and made uh, publicly available so that air community res residents can access it. Uh, we will also create educational videos based on the data we have collected and also based on the citizen science experience of heat and air quality monitoring in Alice Springs. So thank you so much for listening to this talk. Um, please feel free to contact me at my email um, after this conference as well. Thank you.